Again, Captain. We're here to get the Golden Burger. If wielded, it could command an army of two billion space hands. We mustn't let it fall into the wrong hands. Now, according to my completely ordinary dog, there's an energy signature right ahead. Deploy the space anchor. Aye, aye, Captain Pooch. Pew. That's Roman Van Poochington the second. <laughs> Whee! Hey, not bad. None of my eight million dogs fell out this time. You really need to stop breeding those things, sir. <gasps> Cats! What a wonderful planet. Go to hell, space aliens, go! No, Clark, you can't go in all gung ho! No! Not again! This is the third time this week! All the day's work, sons! Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to run! That's an excellent idea. Why? We're going to need more guns, son. Well, luckily for all of you, I just came up with a genius plan. Did you just send those space cats straight into orbit? Yeah, that's a bit cruel. Don't worry, I sent the sides into orbit as well. At least they died laughing. <laughs> it's not rocket science. Besides, what do you care, meat eater? Hey, I only eat organic free range meat. Whatever you say. So, fellers, where's this here energy signature? Ah, oh, yes, I almost forgot. Now, according to my completely ordinary map with an X on it, it says it should be, uh. Over there! Ah, space! I got him! Huh. How'd you get him from all the way over there? What do you mean? From over there. How did you get him from all the way over there? That's like 400 meters. Don't seem all that far away to me! Alright, whatever. Let's go. I can't believe you shot a girl! Not again! This is the third time this week! I couldn't see who she was! She was over 400 space meters away! Yet you managed to get a perfect laser beam between her eyes? Damn right, son! A real spaceman never misses! Yeehaw! Oh, we are so going to jail! Well, partner, I think she's alive! But that's impossible! Nobody can survive a space laser! Hello, my lady. Are you alright? Well, of course I am. You think I'm not strong enough to take one single laser beam to the head? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it easy. The average person wouldn't be able to... Wait! It's just a skeleton! Maybe there's some hidden force increasing the time dilation on this space planet, making the body decay faster. Well... As long as there's no evidence, then we're not going to jail. Well, actually, I just ate her. You did what? 
<laughs> well, you guys said you were going to jail, so I was thinking, oh, I'll just, you know, tuck in and hide the evidence for you. Don't you realize how cruel that was? Well, technically, Clyde did shoot her first. I was just putting her out of her misery. You didn't even hide the bones. Huh? I was saving those for your eight million dogs, sir. Unlike Clyde, I actually think these things through. Hey! Watch your jaw, Snappy! Ugh, she was still alive! Spit her out! Oh, sorry, I didn't realize. What the heck is wrong with you boys? Well, I was hungry. Ow! Please forgive him, my lady. Now, my name is Roman Van Poochington II, and this is my trusted pal, Clyde Gingham. Howdy! What's your name? I'm Skeletoria, Empress of Catern. Well, I can't say you have much of an empire on this rock. Ugh. Skeletoria? More like Ribtoria? Ha! Christian joke. Ugh. Now I wish that laser beam really had killed me. Ha! <laughs> I did the best I could! <clears throat> We are here on behalf of the Sacred Order of Starboat to track down the Golden Burger. The Golden Burger? The Golden Burger. Apparently it's here on Catern. Remember eating anything weird recently? Hmm. No, just a talking potato. Ooh, what a delicious potato. No, don't eat me. I'm alive. Not anymore. <laughs> that reminds me of when I was training at the Sacred Order of Star Wars to be a space captain. I had a friend there who was a talking potato. His name was Mr. Spuds. Not a very creative name, I suppose, but overall a good, solid chip. Unfortunately, he was never able to graduate from the academy because he was a f***ing potato. Mind your space language, Captain! So, uh, what's with the whole evil skeleton aesthetic anyway? I don't know, I kind of just felt like picking it up. So you mean the Golden Burger isn't even here? Pwah! Ah, oh, Captain! You've really got to upgrade from a dog's sniffer to energy radar. Yeah, you might send us to the wrong planet again. Never. New tech takes all the fun out of life. Whatever. The raptor's right, Captain. Let's get off this space rock and find the real Golden Burger. Yeah, let's go. Fine. Wait. Take me with you. What? I'm poor. I have no money to feed me and my cats. The Golden Burger, it would pay for all of us for a lifetime. Nah, sounds bogus to me. It's not like we're gonna sell the dang thing. Come on, Clyde, don't be like that. Why wouldn't I? Uh, because she's a whammon? Oh yeah, fair point. Bring her with us. <laughs> No, we have an emergency here, Clyde! What is it, Captain? I just finished making avocado tea and there is no ice! So what? That's not important! We must stop on planet Europa to get some ice! Captain, now's not the time to space buy some space tea! Stop fretting, it'll only take a moment. I told you so, Captain. My absolute goodness me. The captain is completely frozen solid. It's like a cartoon. I bet a giant would use this as an ice. So how are we gonna get to the next rock without the captain? Voice command mode? Nah, the captain wouldn't agree to use such advanced technology like that. Frankly, I don't think he can talk as is. Ugh, fine. I guess I'll drive. Alright, let's see here. Oh, looks like we're going to planet Flat Earth. <laughs> How 
yeah, I knew the Earth was flat. Checkmate, space globalist. Right here in Africa, it's really hot. The captain's ice is gonna melt in no time. It's too hot. We should get going into that tomb. I don't know. That sounds a bit space suspicious to me. Please wait, we need to defrost the captain first. Please, Raptor, let's go. Ugh, fine. I'll bring my flamethrower. It's just up ahead. There it is. <laughs> Captain, oh, you're back. Slow down, oh, son. Guys. Quit your shivering and speak <laughs> clearly. It's Skeletoria. She wrote something on the map. She, we're not on the planet that we were s s supposed to go to. <sighs> so what you're saying is you were sending us to the wrong planet by mistake, and she corrected you. Yeah. I guess Raptor was right about that. Yeah! That's right, Captain. You can't just use a dog to sniff out where to vaguely go in space. At this rate, we should make Skeletoria the new Captain. What do you think, Skeletoria? Uh, Skeletoria? <laughs> the Golden Burger in command of the Space Hats army is finally now mine! <laughs> what the space? <laughs> Laser proof! I tried to warn you guys! But why, Mr. Spuds, why? I thought you were my friend! <laughs> well, you thought wrong, Space Captain Roman Van Poochington II? After getting rejected from joining the Order of Starboats because I was a f***ing potato, I overheard the search to find a golden burger that had the dark, magical power to control an army of space ants. <laughs> I alone could search with my dark magic powers the location and signature of the Golden Burger. But I couldn't go there because I was a f***ing potato. So I infiltrated the local shop, got sold to Skeletoria, and got eaten by her. But you didn't want me to eat you. Me. <laughs> It was reverse psychology, my dear. Look it up. I then started emitting the same signature as the Golden Burger. Eventually, a starboat was searching the area, and I was able to take advantage of the ship. And now the Golden Burger is mine. <laughs> All mine. Uh, I can't believe my dog was fooled by such a silly trick. Perhaps your dog was just hungry, sir. And now that I have the Golden Burger, nothing can stop me from taking over the entire universe! <laughs> Attack, my pretties! Space ants just keep coming! Uh, guys, this battle has went on for so long that my bananas went black. Right, let's call for a space retreat. Run away! This place is done for, let's just nuke it. But it's the Flat Earth! You can't just nuke it! What are you, a space globalist? Ah, space! Eh, happens to the best of us. Besides, at least Mr. Spuds, the Golden Burger, and all the ants have been destroyed. 
The galaxy is at peace. Does anyone smell fries? <laughs> Thank you.